Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Staxel. So, awesome news, if you look up at the top, Sapling 1.2.5. So 1.2 came out today, um, actually just a little bit of go, just a little bit ago. Um, the time of this video, it will be yesterday when the update came out. But the big update that they were talking about came out, and I am not disappointed at all. There's a lot of new features, a lot of new items, and uh, new stuff to explore. So... Today, originally, we were going to be planning out the house, right? We are going to be laying stuff out for the house. But, change of plans, since 1.2 is out, we're going to check out some of the new features. Some of the new features. Um, whoa! Full honey pots, 48, only 8,090. But I'll tell you what, that could be... There was a rebalancing for all the money and stuff. And chances are, honey probably dropped. Of course, I think the last time we sold it, it was only like 11000 so it could be due to what seems like um, the diminishing returns on selling things. That's a possibility as well. Um, I'm not for sure. Now, I did go ahead and clean out my inventory because I wanted to be ready for this episode. Because, yeah, we've got stuff to go and explore. Let me make sure I've got, yeah, I've got everything I want on me, I think. Um, so first up, let's, uh, let's see, let's pop into the here. And let's take a look at something. I want to see if any of these are orderable. So, yeah, see, now there's paintings. Uh, bowl with fruit, the mistake, buy any other, and R. And that's, I think there might be more paintings, but I'm not for sure. Um, but one really nice feature that was added is you can actually take stone and wood and you can craft it back into... Um, we may have to get a recipe. I'm not for sure how that works, but um, you can craft like wood and stone and stuff back into its original pieces. So we can craft wood into like this. So kind of a nice little addition. If you recall a, a bit back, I was actually talking about that feature. Okay, okay. Yeah, this is something awesome right here. If you take a look at this little tab here. Um, fish is pretty much the same. I don't think they added any new fish. Um, same with bugs, but they did add fossils that we can collect and put together just like they had in Animal Crossing, okay? And then we also have paintings. Now, right now, there's only five paintings, it looks like. Probably four of those um, coming from the catalog. Uh, maybe in addition to other things, but at least you can get them from the catalog. Now, in addition, let's, let's actually... Hmm. Yeah, let's walk over here. And I'm going to grab that mushroom. Um, also, I mean, there was more, there was new achievements and stuff that were added to go along with that. Yeah, like right here, obtain a painting, find a fossil, find 10 fossils, find 100 fossils. Alright, well, let's run around, and we're looking for little marks on the ground. And I also maybe want to catch some bugs. I want to see about the prices, because, like, they revisited all the economics of the game, and trying to fix that. Oh, also the mail system um, was implemented, the postal service and stuff. So we do need to check that out as well. But I'm trying to find something, which honestly might be kind of hard to find due to the, like all the greenery and stuff. It might be pretty tough. I don't know if it can spawn on the beach. Because um, I'm pretty much hopping in here like after the update and everything, checking it out. I'm going to catch one of these bugs because I want to see if the prices on those changed much. Okay, let's see how the price adjustment is now. Really, really quick. Um, 42 for a blue butterfly. I feel, I still feel like it's really steep. An 8, 132. I don't feel like bugs have really dropped at all. <laughs> like, there's still a ton of money. Uh, it's a bit, I think bugs are a bit excessive. I'm not for sure about fish. We'll have to check out fish as well. Um, if they've been boosted at all, but, oh, 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 oh. See this right here? This is what we were looking for. We need a pickaxe. Okay, we got an unpolished fossil, and we just got an achievement. Okay, it says, unpolished fossil, who knows what you might find if you polish this old relic. And it's actually a new machine that you can buy, and we're going to go see if it's in the general store. Um, that might just be from the catalog, I'm not for sure. Okay, let's run over to the building store really, really quick. Um, there's actually a new building that you're tasked to find, as well as, like, a, there's a couple new NPCs, like I said, I'm not for sure too much about those because we haven't really started getting NPCs in. Um, at first I thought this building was going to be here by default, but it's not. You have to build it. 
And I'm not seeing like the polishing station or the building signs. Okay, let me teleport home real quick. I may just need to order them from the catalog. Might be the best bet. So let's go do that. We've got... Man, took a hit to my money. I mean, it's still good money. And I think it's plenty for our needs, but... Let's see, we want the polisher. Oh, how do we get this thing? Not for sure, but there's also like displays like large fish, small bugs, small fish, uh, large modern displays, fancy fish. Like this was all added. And there's actually a museum. Now it's possible maybe I need to go speak with Maximilian, perhaps. And let's run over there and see. Because I read like I read through the blog and everything, but there wasn't a whole lot of detail. Um, and I had to reread it because I thought the museum actually just spawned in, but you have to build the museum. And then you can store stuff there. And you get like a new NPC and stuff. But I'm not for sure how we go about actually getting the seed polisher initially. I think I lost a wrench again. Let me know if you see it anywhere. Um, also, that's another thing to note. Their rewards were boosted, which I'm not terribly familiar with, you know. How their rewards were before, because we found those items, but we never turned them in. Maximilian... Oh, he's way over there. Okay. Mmm. What happened to your Oscar's home? Make sure you use it to build our future resident. Okay. Ah, to Asgard. Just the person I wanted to see. It's taken years of negotiation, but I've finally done it. As of today, the Postal Service is adding us to their deliveries. We got a standard post box. You need to set up this post box to access your mail. You could be getting mail already. All right. Why are they so against opening a new coal mine? It's not like it would do any real damage to the environment. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. Okay. So at least we got the post office or the post box stuff opened up to us. Yeah, we got three letters. Let's teleport home. We're gonna change out our post box real quick. And oh, right here. Okay. And we'll put down the new standard mailbox. Now if we take a look here um, from Robin, hey there, congrats on, congrats on your new post box. The name's Robin and I'm one of the two designated postmen for your region. Here to give you a few tips. I think Rin was going to send you something too, but knowing her, she probably just got lost trying to deliver it. I'm joking, of course. Send help. I think I made her angry. <laughs> You'll probably get a few letters from time to time, mostly from other residents looking for help or sending you gifts. But sometimes you might get something from out of town. Doesn't matter which post box you check, either. We're pretty good at making sure your post is exactly where you need it, when you need it. It's probably a good idea to keep an eye on your mail to make sure you don't miss anything important. Hope to catch you on my rounds someday. And then from Ren, Hello, I deliver letters. I don't write them. Regards, Ren. And then, congratulations, the Murmur Consortium. Dear to Asgard, congratulations, your island has been randomly selected in our latest lottery to receive a total sum of 200,000 petals, distributed at random amongst the village. Make, uh, may your share bring you much joy. We thank you for your continued patronage, Murmur Consortium. So we got 10 petals. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't get much of that, to say the least. Okay, let's go to sleep. Oh, also, if we hit J... Um, we have a quest book, or a journal now. Right now, it mainly just shows you, like, your quests, and I think that's the main thing. I'm not for sure what this is. We don't have any quests or anything. Uh, but eventually, it's going to be used to, like, jot down stuff and things of that nature. Okay, and we got some petals. And I may go look through the Discord and see if I can find out how we go about, like, getting the museum uh, building sign. Honestly, it's probably from Maximilian. He's probably going to give us a quest to, uh, yeah, I want to feel it. He's probably going to give us a quest to build a museum. But since I have that Oscar's house thing, he may not give it to me right now. Um, but one second. Okay, from what I can gather, here's another fossil, and there's another one right there. Um, from what I can gather, there's a new NPC that we need to find somewhere. That's going to task us with building the museum. So we might, I don't know, do we want, do we want to build the museum first, or do we want to build the house first. I'm not really for sure <laughs> at the moment. Um, but yeah, we've got to basically, we've got to just run around and keep collecting fossils for a while. Like to get it to first prompt us with a new NPC and stuff. So yeah, this could take a while. 
This might be something that we need to do in the background. I don't know, though. I want to get the prompt to build the museum, though, as well. Man, there's, like, acorns everywhere all of a sudden. Um, there's another fossil. Hey! So, right now we have four of them. I'm not really for sure how many we have to collect. We just have to keep collecting them for a while. And one thing, of course, is I'm not really for sure how well these fossils are going to sell. Like, how much they're going to be worth, like, once they're polished up and everything. Of course, on Animal Crossing, there's one. <laughs> on Animal Crossing, they sold for quite a bit, you know, but they were, like, a daily thing. And like, four or five per day, I think it was, but I'm not for sure about on here. I'm not for sure, because, I mean, technically you can gather, it seems like, a decent amount each day. Um, of course, right now I'm just kind of running around looking specifically for them. But I think even passively, it seems like I've always got, like, one near my farm and stuff, so... I mean, you could passively grab them, polish them, maybe sell them for a decent amount. And it's like another source of extra income, I guess. I'm having not great luck at the moment. Like, I found a bunch right there at the start, and then, like, it's kind of dwindled. Hey, there's one. It's kind of slowed down. I think I actually got lucky there at the start. So we are up to six fossils at the moment. Here's one, there's number seven, number eight, oh, I see number nine and number ten, and, okay, I thought I saw eleven over there, but no, so there's number nine, and then right over here, somewhere, I saw it, I saw both of them, like, right about the same time, and now I'll never be able to find the other one that I saw. That's generally how it works. There it is. Ah. Number 10, we got an achievement. Find 10 fossils. Okay. Still haven't... Um, may have to go back towards town. Maybe to get the prompt. Town's right over there. There's another fossil. But yeah, and, and also the polisher is tied to this as well. Like, we have to get the museum sign, build the museum, and then we get the... Uh, fossil polisher so quite involved which at the time of recording this information is like really light on the ground so like I'm not not a hundred percent percent sure how all this works but we're gonna give it a shot today and see if we can get that prompt oh here's one here we go mysterious butterfly this strange creature seems to be fluttering around rather frantically perhaps you should place it on the ground this is what we're looking for Mysterious Butterfly. So we had to gather 11 unpolished fossils. I think it's just a chance. I mean, from what I understand, hey, there's another one right here. I'm going to take it. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's spawn this guy. There we go. Vorlin. All right, that's the guy we were looking for. Eh, what are these arms? Legs? Am I me again? Astounding. Fantastic. What did you do? Ah, but I seem to be getting ahead of myself. I am Vorlin, once curator of a magnific magnificent museum in a faraway land. How did I come to be an insect? Hmm. I do believe we should gloss over that for now. Perhaps if you pay me a visit on the morrow, we might discuss a few details. I must first reaccustom myself to this body and finally get some rest. You have no idea how long those blasted spiders were chasing me. Okay. Please allow me a day to rest before we begin our discussions. Come back on the morrow. Okay. So we got him. That's the guy that we were looking for. So it took a little while. I was about to give up for the day. And then like, just so happened, coming back to the farm. I'm glad I, I, I ran back instead of teleporting. Because, you know, I was able to find the last fossils that we needed uh, from that. And actually, I'm finding quite a few here around the farm. Like, it almost seems like they spawn more densely around the farm. It may just be my luck. Um, but they seem to be, like, right around the farm, which, maybe they spawn, like, right around your bed, or something, like, so close to where you spawn, like, densely. Alright, I've noticed when I run through those, like, little spruce areas, hey, there's one right there, as well. When I run through those little spruce areas, I get a little bit of, uh, slow down, but there's another one. It's, like, right here around the farm is, like, definitely the place to check. Like, I was running out in the woods for a while. Hey, there's one of my cows way over there. Alright. Um, I need to go get a capture crate or two. And maybe we'll just capture the the uh, cows. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. 
Maybe I'll do that, because there's since there's one right there and I don't have to go out of my way to find her. We've got 21 unpolished fossils right now. They're not terribly rare, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, let me get, like, two capture crates. And they do show up on the map. So let me actually, uh, I'll tell you what, let me just teleport home. It'll save me, like, 20 steps or something. She, like, runs away or something. Like, really, really quick. See, I should be standing, like, literally right on top of her. I'm wondering if she's not down in the mine. Yeah, she's got to be down in the mine, because I've been, like, running around on top of her for a bit. Aha, there we go. <laughs> They're, like, underground cows. Alright, let's catch them. Okay, so we got Autumn in a crate. There are air holes. Well, that's good. Still don't think it's very humane. There's still one other cow that's at large, but, uh, yeah, we'll just leave them be and... Probably they'll show up around the farm again, kind of visiting their old haunts, more or less. And, okay, I don't have to... Okay, I don't have to mess with bees tomorrow. Um, I tell you what, I am going to order, like, some of the paintings just so we can kind of look at those. And I might actually hang some of those up. We'll see. Yeah, maybe. Maybe so. Like, right on this wall. But, we'll see. Let's order... <laughs> Oops, I'm in the wrong area. Let's order paintings. And those, there's those display cases now. Whoa, they're 4,000, 6,000. Yeah, 4,000. I'm going to order this one that's 4,000. I think that'll be good. And then we've also got these displays. Oh, look at that. Like a wood, like a, a log. Oh, man. Like this is what I was wanting. Like those patisserie ones are great and everything. But these I didn't care too much for. These are like perfect. I'm going to order one of these large moderns, and that's a bug display. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to order just one of those large moderns, and we'll check that out in the morning, because I want to see, like, what you can put on it. On it. Some of those sound like they're just fish, just bugs, but I want to focus on, like, the bigger features of this new update. I mean, we've still got this, like, journal. Um, which I'm hoping that we get a quest from the museum guy, which I'm gonna have to go find him now. I feel like she's eating her food, like, a whole thing of it, like, every day right now. I'm not for sure, but I could have swore this is, like, the third bag of dog food I've already fed her this episode. <laughs> she just keeps, like, nomming it down. Okay. Alright, so we got our bowl with fruit. Let's go hang this thing up real quick. Just take a look. Uh, wrong, wrong area. <laughs> oh, look at that. That is nice. Yeah, I'm gonna put that, like, right there. Aha! <laughs> oh, that's so good. I'm so glad they added paintings. Like, and I would love to see, like, more paintings, like, over time, but... Which I don't think I got the achievement for getting a painting, did I? Oh, yeah, and then we got this large modern... Um, okay, you just put, like, one item there. You can't put items in, on the inside. It's just, like, one display. Okay. Hoping you can put a little bit more than that, but that's fine. Okay, so let's go see if we can find Vorlin. And it looks like... I think that's him over there inside of Rowan's place. I think... Which takes, technically I can run on this, which is kind of nifty. I never use this feature, but this is, this is kind of nice, though. Like, oh, I want to get over here. I should have been using that when I was trying to find the cow. I think I would have quickly realized then that it was in the mine beneath us. But there's also, I mean, there's other items and stuff. I mean, we'll run into those as time goes on. And I should probably close this off because we're about to head inside. Okay. There he is. Ah, oh, what a fine day to be humanoid again. I cannot believe how comfortable the tavern floor was last night. So, to business. I took the liberty of examining your village in the early morning hours. As I suspected, and much to my horror, I might add, you lack a museum. Perhaps you are not aware, but museums are of paramount importance in these settings. 
Where else will you store and display all the valuables you uncover? As such, I must impose upon you to construct such a venue. We got a museum sign. I've heard that you are already familiar with construction. I trust you to take care of the rest. Okay. So we got ourselves a museum sign. I wonder how big this thing actually is. Oh, look at that. It's fairly large. <laughs> I don't want to build it here. I can already tell you I don't want to build it here. So is that in... Uh, right here. Look at that. Dawn at the museum. So we have a quest that shows us a picture of who gave us the quest. And it actually uh, gives you the text from them. So, and he talks, like right here was the first conversation with them. And then it kind of runs into the second um, one right here. So, very, very nice. And that's just kind of not, that's just kind of there so that we can keep track of you know, what we're working on and stuff. I don't know where I would like to place a museum. I'm honestly thinking, like, right in here. Because we have, like, structures right up through here. We've got, there's the general store. We've got structures backing along here. But this little area right here is pretty open and empty. So I think that's where we're going to stick the museum at. Because I imagine once everything's said and done, I wouldn't mind having a fairly large museum in truth. So if we were to put it, like, right in, uh, maybe, maybe back in just a little bit more than that, though, right? I think, yeah, maybe like right back here. Let's actually toggle the region. What all do we need? Roof, any blocks is done. Um, two clocks, two large fish displays, two small fish displays, and two small bug displays. Okay. Well, technically, <laughs> we could just put him right in here and not actually have the house house. Part of it done, and I'm, I don't know, because I really want to get the polisher, right? That's the major thing I want. So, two large fish, two small fish, two small bugs, and two clocks. Yeah, I'm honestly thinking that's what we're going to do, and then we'll come back through and we'll build, actually build the museum. I've just got so many build projects, like, like I can't keep up with them. And um, we're about to start the house, and honestly, I feel like I want to prioritize the house over the museum. I just want to get the furniture, pol uh, the fossil polisher, so that we can start polishing, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so we can start polishing fossils. But I'd, I'd like to get the polisher so that we can look into that see how that system works and um, today because we're kind of just checking out some of the new features of the update because there was so much added right and then he said clock so there was a clock added oh look at that clock tower face oh and then a desk clock um which clock does he want does he want the clock tower face He just said clocks. What if I make him two desk clocks? I'll tell you what. We're going to get two of each because I do want to build a big clock tower. And we'll see which one he wants. So we're down to 9,000. Um, but this stuff's pretty expensive, right? The displays are expensive. The paintings are expensive. Um, I'm happy to see like items getting added in that have a cost behind them. That like really makes you go, oh, whoa, wait, wait a second. Because <laughs> that's kind of expensive. Like, I'm used to, like, having lots of money at this point in the game. And, yeah, when I pulled up those paintings, I was about to just hit buy. Like, I was, I'm just used to everything costing, like, minimal money. Nope, not that. Okay, museum is right over here. And he's going to live outside for the time being. Talk about that region display. Okay, so if I put down these desk clocks, so these count. Oh, they do. Okay. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to have a couple fish displays. I know this is really, really tacky, but we will clean it up, I promise. This will be one of our things. I really will. I, I, honestly, I can't wait for this to work. Like, I want to write. I want to write right here. Because I want to put, like, our building projects on here. It would be so nice. And then we'll put our little bug displays. Okay. Furnishing requirements complete. So let's go speak to Voiland. And actually, I'm going to grab these so we can look at the bug displays. We're just going to put monarch butterflies on there. I'm assuming he is still in the... Nope. Nope. He's over there near the museum. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can actually see... You can barely see it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on, your, on the YouTube or not. But you can barely see the region display for the building that we're building. Like from above. It's kind of cool. Is there a way to, like, zoom in, or... No, I don't know. I don't see much of a way. 
Okay, Voilin, you like your house? It's pretty nice, right? Fantastic! Magnificent! A true marvel. <laughs> In case it was not apparent, these are my impressions upon seeing our new museum. I cannot adequately express my thanks. First, you restore me to humanoid form, then you erect a museum in my honor. I am humbled, truly, for your services. Please take this. Unpolished fossil. That right there is an unpolished fossil. You might find them if you break rocks lying around the island. And the fossil polisher. The polishing machine can be used to clean up old fossils for the museum and expand your collection. Should you ever find any interesting collectibles, do come and see me. You are also free to populate the displays with them. I cannot wait to see you expand our insect collection. Well, guess what? Speaking of, I've actually got a couple bugs for you. Oh, oh. There you go. Now you got... Where'd you go? Okay. Aha, now this is a moment I have been anticipating. Collectible discoveries must be recorded. Come to me each time you make a new discovery and I will bestow upon you Vorlin Encyclopedia points. Collect enough and extravagant treasures could be yours. For this batch of 62, I will award you 320 points, bringing your total to 320. Is that maybe all the different bugs and fish I've caught? Fabulous, you have broken 100 Vorlin Encyclopedia points. To commemorate this first milestone, I have prepared a set of five unpolished fossils. Perhaps one might turn out to be a rarity. Ah, so you have amassed over 200 points. Perhaps this will be somewhat unorthodox reward, but I no longer have room for this painting. Moonlight Witch. And we get an achievement, obtain a painting. Keep up the excellent work. Marvelous, 300 points. I have met few people as studious of their surroundings. Perhaps someday we will manage to catalog the entire island. We got it. Oh, large fancy fish display, small fancy bug, and small fancy fish. Oh my, is that a new discovery? I must record it immediately. For this one, I can award you 15 Vorland Encyclopedia points, bringing your total to 335. I'm assuming that's because I got the painting. I'm guessing. Moonlight Witch. And then the there's the other three that are bought. So right now there's just the five, four from the catalog, and then the Moonlight Witch, which you'll probably get if you've been playing the game for very long at all. Just <laughs> catch a bunch of bugs, catch a bunch of fish, and you get encyclopedia points. Okay, so let's see. Do we want to put the Moonlight Witch? No, I'm going to save that for at our house, probably. But we will we'll hang it up somewhere for right now. Okay. We'll just put it right here for the time being Aha. okay and then we have all these displays these clock tower faces like exactly how big are these things they're pretty big yeah they're pretty big we're gonna have to build a clock tower like a big clock tower at some point not yet we have too many building projects i swear it's this way on like every pack that's like super buildy like this like farming valley is the same way i'm like oh my gosh i got so much i'm building <laughs> it's crazy all right, so this uh, fossil polisher, let's put this thing down, downstairs, I guess. And I actually, I think, nope, it doesn't hang over. Perfect. Okay, so then what we can do is we can take and put in our fossils. And it's going to start polishing them. And it's taking all of them. And it actually runs, the seed maker looks a lot like this, except the seed maker is pink, whereas this is um, like white. And is this just going to keep running, or is it going to stop and not be able to pump out that last fossil? Oh. Oh, I don't like that. It knocks them off. So we got an unknown egg and a Terra right wing. Okay, yeah, it seems like if you get very far away from this, though, it stops running. So. Like, if I come over here... Well, it looks like it's still running, but we can stop it, I know. And I'm going to go look here in just a second and take a look at these. But I want to run all these through just to see what all we get. And how much inventory space do I have at the moment? I've got a decent amount. Mammoth lower body. I'm going to go ahead and stop that for a minute because I want to see like how these fossils look for starters and how much they sell for. Because that's also something I'm very curious about. So the mammoth body, for example, if we put this into here, 200, or triceratops body. And then like this one, 300 for the unknown egg. Uh, the mammoth body is 200. What about the fossilized amber? 200. Okay, so it's just a couple hundred 
for each one. They're really not a good source of money, I wouldn't think. Um, I mean, for us, I mean, if you're starting out, you know, maybe. And that's what they look like. Like, that's the, uh, the mammoth body. And then we've got, like, Triceratops body. And we've got that right wing. I can't read the little things there. And then that's the amber and then the egg. So, and they come with their own displays already and everything. That's kind of nice. Kind of nice. And, of course, like Animal Crossing, you could put them in your house or you can take them to the museum. So, I'm honestly, th I'm thinking that we're going to need a fairly large museum and one that we can easily expand as the coming patches come because, you know, that's kind of important, being able to expand on it because, you know, there may be more fossils and stuff added as time goes on, which is something that we have to consider, um, I do believe. And let's see, the other NPC, let's go ahead and work on getting that. I'm going to expedite. Uh, for this one, we need ice cream. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how you go about getting them. I'm going to sleep, so maybe we get a new letter. Because we have to get a letter that's going to give us a quest. Okay? Um, and it sounds like we got one because there's like a beeping. Which means, yep, we got new mail. Diana Prince has brought us a gift. Okay, so hopefully we got the quest. Yeah, ice cream, yeah. The rest of the letter is formed of unintelligible scribbling. That's what we were looking for. And a paw lamp. Okay. Yeah, she's devouring the food. Like, every single day, she eats the food. And then I have to give her new food, like, every day. And I wonder why that is suddenly a thing. That might be a bug. I'm going to submit it and let him know that my dog's eating all the food every single day. But anyway, so we've got ice cream. Let's see. Supposedly, there's not, I don't think anybody's actually found this one, um, to my knowledge. But, meow? Do Kate's always in? Yeah, no. I don't know. Okay. Oh, let's see. We're going to have to try and find her. I guess. I don't know if I need to make the ice cream. Maybe that's a thing. Maybe. Maybe so. I love this new, like, journal feature. Um, or not journal, but journal and the mail. So this this uh, this upper section here, I was looking. I don't think there's anything ever here right now. That's going to be there for future stuff. So we'll be able to write things down and like little things like that. But all right, so ice cream recipe. Let's order that. And oh man, I'm eating through my money like crazy fast. Expedite. I do have bees though today, so I'll get those later. Yeah. Um, after we finish up what we're doing. How did I get that firefly? I didn't catch that, did I? I don't think so. Alright, and then, let's see, ice cream. I may have to order, I may have to get a table, in fact, for this. Mix, we need a, mil a mix and a boil table, and we need salt, cream, milk, and white sugar. Okay, let's run over here, and we're going to buy a couple tables, just to see if this may be... Maybe if I eat ice cream, you think? I don't know. I'm not for, I'm not for sure. Let's see. All right, so we need a boil table and a mix table. There's mix. There's boil. Boil was only 200 petals. And then we need... Um, let's see. What do we need? Salt, I know we needed. And then... Cream, milk, and white sugar. Not really sure where we get uh, white sugar and cream, though. Probably have to make it, actually. Yeah, white sugar, we need sugar cane or chopped sugar beets. But I think I can order it. So we're just going to do that. Alright, let's put down our tables, though. So we'll just put them... There's our boiling station, and... There's our mixing station. And then... I'll put this back on my hot bar just in case. Just in case, but maybe making like ice cream is going to prompt the NPC to come out or something. I'm not for sure. All right, so let's order cream. Let's order white sugar. And let's go ahead and expedite. And I think that's everything that we needed, right? Milk, salt, uh, cream, and white sugar. 
And this will be the first time we actually cook anything. <laughs> Okay, so let's see. We need to mix the milk, boil the sugar cane. Oh, well, we're not doing the sugar cane. That's how you get the white sugar. Um, mix the milk. Mix the salt, cream, milk, and white sugar. Okay. So there we go. Oh, that's going to make it into cream, though, isn't it? Yeah, that makes cream. Whoops. Okay, I'm going to need more milk now. <laughs> oh, goodness. I've got a cow in a capture crate, but we're going to just buy milk. Maybe we'll just expedite. Man, I've just eaten through some money this episode. <laughs> but after this episode, we'll be able to repair our money, I think. I've got bees. If they don't sell for a lot, like the honey, like if it keeps dwindling down like it has been... I'll probably not sell them and just hold on to them, maybe. And there we go. And so I actually only really needed a mixing station if I was buying everything, but we'll need a boiling station later. So that's whatever. All right. So there's ice cream. Still no NPC wandering around. Let's go speak to Maximilian. The other day we had a foreign delegate visiting one of those cactus people from warmer lands. Caused quite the stir. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for. And I might try selling an ice cream. You never know. Maybe if I sell it, they'll be like, hey. Like the next day, I don't know. <laughs> just just a guess, but... Put like some ice cream in there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I actually have no clue. I don't think anybody's found it, at least at the time of recording this. Like, how you're supposed to get the NPC. Like, I was looking on the Discord and stuff, and I don't know. It has something to do with ice cream. <laughs> I don't know. We'll keep messing with it, and I'll keep trying to figure it out and stuff. Um, so maybe next episode we'll figure that out. But, I don't know. I <laughs> have no actual clue. Um, like, you get the letter... Which just talks about ice cream, but I don't know what to do with the ice cream now that we've got it. Like, we've crafted it and everything, and... Yeah, it says ice cream, yeah. The rest of the letter is formed of unintelligible scribbling. I don't know. No clue. But, yeah, the main, the main things with this update, I mean, there was bug fixes, stuff like that. But the main thing was they improved, like, the, the networking stuff. Um, oh, you know what? I need jars. Pretty bad, too. I'm going to run to the general store and get a bunch of jars, but... Yeah, they improved the networking stuff, and... Like, for multiplayer. And then they also changed up a bit of the, like... Cost of things. Currency, things like that. To, okay, there's another 150. Um, but they changed the price of a lot of items. I still wish bugs were, like... Not quite as high as they are, but... You know, the addition of, like, expensive furniture and stuff. And I think some things that we were selling have been tweaked. I don't know so much about honey because it seems like the price was dropping on that anyways. Um, so I don't know if it's just, like, you know, this is... It's a lower default price or something. Or if it's just the fact that we've been selling so much honey that the price has dropped off. Because that's what it seemed like. Was that the price was kind of dwindling on honey. Like, supply and demand sort of a thing. But Which, we'll gather up this. I'm going to see if the price of honey has dropped again, but... Um, but yeah, and then in addition, you know, there was the fossils, the museum, and there's that other NPC that... <laughs> no clue how to get that one, but, uh, hopefully we'll find out before too long. I'll keep an eye on the Discord. Hopefully by next episode we'll figure out how to, um, how to get that NPC, because I have no clue. It has something to do with ice cream, but aside from that, no clue. Okay, so 24 honey is 3,840. Yeah, that's going to be a drop as well. <laughs> that's going to be a little bit of a drop on uh, petals. So, yeah, it is It is dwindling. Like, due to the fact, I think, that we're selling just so much honey that the price is kind of falling off because we just, we've pretty much captured the entire honey market, I think. So I don't think doing, like, just a ton of apiaries would really be effective as far as money goes. So we're going to have to look at alternate ways... I cannot get up here. There we go. Alternate ways to produce our money that's not just from honey. 
totally rhyme there. Um, but yeah, so economy, the museum, the Steam update stuff, the journal was a pretty big thing. The post, like the mail system, also kind of a big deal. Um, and I think that's like the major things. And then of course a bunch of new items were added. There was a bunch of bug fixes and just different things. But as far as all the blocks that were added, I'm not for sure, you know, but we'll find that out at you know, as we go through the coming episodes, as we order things and find things and all of that. So, and I'll probably stumble across a lot of them in my creative world. Like my testing world. So, um, but yeah, so next episode we are going to resume building, I guess. And I'm not for sure, and we may find the new NPC as well, but, um, yeah, 7,680. So, I want to say, what was it last time? Like 8,800 or something? At the beginning of the episode, I think? So... Yeah, it's definitely kind of dropping off. <laughs> so, I don't know if I want to just, like, hold on to it until the price goes back up, maybe. And then, like, sell it in bulk. Like, major bulk. The only thing is I'm not going to have money to do anything with, like, building. Um, so I'm not for sure. But, anyways, next episode we will pick up on building and resume that. Um, I'm not for sure right now if we're going to do the house or if we're going to do the museum. Chances are the house. Um, because I think getting that in is going to be a little bit more important for us. Because, you know, having a place that we can cook food and stuff would be kind of nice. At least get the house started, get the basement dug out, and then start working on the first floor. Then we might switch gears mid-build and work on the museum or the barn. Um, or adding in chicken coops. Because, like I said, we're going to need alternate money methods. And I think putting in chicken coops wouldn't take that long either. So, mainly just putting down a fence and then putting down chicken coops and maybe a little bit of decor stuff. Um, and then getting chickens and putting them in. So, then we'd have, like, eggs coming in, I guess, daily. Which would be kind of nice. I'm not for sure what pigs produce. I mean, if they produce anything, but we might look at pigs as well. We shall see. And there's also, what, sheep, I think? So, um, I don't know. We'll, we'll look into those in the coming episodes. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, as always, be sure and hit that like button. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already to stay updated with when new videos come out. If you've managed to find the new NPC, um, do let us know down in the comments because I'm quite curious as to how we go about getting that one. Um, I, have no, I have no clue whatsoever. Um, but anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys next time. So until then, as always, do take care, stay safe, and I'll see you guys then.